Do you want to win up to $500 in yeah. a signed Artist of Wheel? Yeah. Well, guess what? We have a Gallery Madness tournament happening Ooh. right now. All you got to do is make sure your car is added to the Fitment Industries Gallery. And I mean, if it isn't already, what the hell? Yeah. But email us that gallery link to madness at fitmentindustries.com and you automatically get entered into the bracket. Good luck. Joe, do you ever have a video now? I've never had a video. It now. had like a one by one screen. It was all black and gray. I had to yeah. use little like GameCube CDs yeah. for it. If, I had Drake and Josh on there. Oh shit! I if I ever would have had anything like that, so it probably so would have been like some knockoff version of that, way, if that even exists. Way. Welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Your Cars, where we take the cars in the gallery and give them a good old rate ski. That was really you good. You know what I'm saying? That's really good. Thanks. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so other than Drake Bell, wheels, tires, and suspension <laughs> at fitmentindustries.com. Drake Bell's not at Fitment, but maybe one day, who knows? Uh, maybe he has his car in the game, I don't know. But we want to review your car, so let's hop right into this. Check out wheel and tire packages also, because we're offering 10% off ceramic coating when you get wheel and tire packages. That deal. way, your wheels are nice and clean. You don't gotta clean them. It's such a pain in the ass. I hate cleaning my wheels. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Did you have the Drake and Josh soundtrack back We're in the day? back on this, huh? It was no, actually I just all Drake have. Bell's songs. That was all it was. Josh didn't have any songs? No. <laughs> all right. So we have the first car of the day. It's a 2004 Acura TSX on Cosmos Racing XT Ooh. 006Rs. In the front, we have 18 by 9.5 plus 10. In the rear, we have 18 by 11 plus 8. Okay. Uh, we have some Federal 595 S's in the front, 225.40, in the rear, 275.35, on some good old fashioned BC racing coilovers. Now, this isn't your everyday TSX. No. This is advanced TSX. <laughs> this is crazy. This bro. is a wide body TSX. So, this is uh, the real Clint Vesey. Okay. Uh, this is his TSX. Uh, we do have the over fender wide body. Um, got skunk two camber kit, negative four degrees in front, negative five degrees in the okay. rear, some 6K and 8K springs. One inch spacer all around to help fill out those uh, inch. arches now. That's solid. It's usually what you There's have to go with spacer. if you're running a single piece wheel on a wide body setup, you're gonna have to run a hefty spacer. Even with an 18 by 11 plus eight, yeah, that's you're wild. gonna need it. Overall, just first thoughts, I don't know how I feel about this. It's interesting. Flare. This, the flares are massive. They They're are. They're so huge. <laughs> and then there's like the, the line going across all the way down. Like it's, so it really makes it stand out. What, and, what kind of shape is that? A, is that a rhombus? <laughs> yeah. What do you call that? Is that a, a parallelogram? It's a leaning rectangle, you idiot. Yeah, but there's a, there's a name I, for it. I think it's a parallelogram. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, like the body lines of it? I found a way. <laughs> <laughs> we found a way to do it. The body lines of it, I kind of fuck with. I think, I think it's, it's kind of I think cool. it's a good wheel choice. I like the film of it. It's a gra uh, aggressive. It's a grass aggressive. Grass uh, type. Grass. Oh god. <laughs> now we're getting into Pokemon. I don't Spoon. know. <laughs> I, I, do, I don't know how I feel, dude. I think the wheels are a good choice. I just the front angle looks good. The rear, I don't know. The side angle, I don't know. Overall, it's cool to see one of these done up differently. I just, I, it, it hurts my brain. Yeah, it's. I don't think, I can't say I've really ever seen a wide body TSX. Um, I don't, like, it's different. I don't know. Ready to rate it? I think so. Okay. It's, I like the color there. It's interesting. You see, like, the, <laughs> the over fender get you, like, a, just like a thing on the rear door to, yeah. like, flow it into there. <laughs> yeah, that's why, I think that's part of the reason. Okay. Three, two, one, Eight. seven and a half. Like, I like close. it. I like it. They're I like that close. it's. It's different and stuff. Like I said, I've never seen something like this before. Let's hop into the next car. All right, up next. Oh, holy shit. mother of Tostitos pizza rolls. We got a 2019 Volvo V60 T5R on some work. Is the mother yes. of pizza rolls Mama Murphy's? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a 2019 Volvo V60 T5R I said that. <laughs> on work Nyasis yes. CV201 20 by 9 plus 35 Continental Conta Premium Contact 6 225 35s on custom <gasps> air suspension. This is blacked out V60s. You know what Volvo. this is? Oh, I wouldn't find the Oh, God, dude. Sean was on here last time. He was breaking all the Legos. I don't know why you guys can't just leave them alone. So details on this. We have a rear muffler delete with uh, pipes painted black, tinted windows, headlights and taillights, 
Uh, complete blackout on the grill, wrapped in black. Universal shark fin diffuser, wiper delete, Volvo exterior styling package, rear spoilers from just the form, and then uh, ceramic coated. Hell like yeah. we talked about earlier. All right, so checking this thing out. Oh my lanta. These wheels look massive. Like, they're 20s, which like, it's a big wheel, but like, they look massive Dude, on this car. these photos are dope too. So, shout out to Photography by Nordic 19th. Hell yeah. Uh, these look really sick. Dude, I, oh, I love this thing. This thing is hot. I love this. The, the style of wheels paired with this big ass Wagoon looks so good. Volvos are slept on, bro. Absolutely. They are absolutely, absolutely slept on. Because this is hot. This thing is just, those, like the headlights and taillights alone are just. Yeah, th like, they look amazing. That is like some tranche, like that is and so I'm not, good. It does look like it's tucking a little bit. I don't sure. mind, I don't even mind. I don't even care. This wow. thing is insane. And I don't even think you have to do much more. I think simplicity is key here. Yes. However, I think one of those huge roof cargo boxes on top, I would be about it. I'm just saying, I know. Yeah, keep it simple, just throw a big old box on it. Yeah. I don't, I don't call me trend, around in there. <laughs> All right, you ready to rate it? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, ten. ten. All, All day. day. That okay. was weird. Jinx, you owe me a coat. Ah, dog. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna. I thought we were gonna keep going. <laughs> Wait, so can I not uh, talk for the rest of the episode? How about a hot dog? <laughs> no. I'm... Hey, does anybody have a coke in the audience? You can't say that. I'm cheating. Oh. Okay, we're tired. Okay. Nah. <laughs> can you unjinx? Loud me? on the set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Can you, you get, unjinx I'll, me for the episode? You get a, you get a, um, unsung. Oh, okay. All right, moving Nissan. along. <laughs> <laughs> moving along here. We got a 1992 Nissan Skyline R32. Okay. It's a Workmeister, 19 by 11, negative 55 Ooh. in the front, and a 19 by 12, negative 66. Ooh. In the rear, Michelin Jeez. Pilot Sport 4S is 29530 and a 30530 on some aero performance oh. air suspension. This is Shane underscore GTR's these R32. Are some big boy wheels. Yeah, these are some big boy cars this yes, time around. For real. So we got slight road full turn, obviously <laughs> over fender, wide body trim, trimming decals. decals. Plasma cut is plasma. the details for the trimming here. That's this, badass. They just took a plasma torch to it. Uh, suspension on this car is a full Driftworks V2 kit, including the tension rods. Um, Front and rear camber arms, traction rods, uh, Hikus removal. Oh my god, I can't talk. Hikus removal kit, ABS delete, custom built air suspension, one out of one from scale suspension managed by our good friends over at Airlift Performance. So hey. has a fully rebuilt RB26 with forged internals, Dude, hard twin on the Garrett turbos running that 22 psi, making oh just a healthy I can't 575 this. all wheel drive. This is too much. Dude. This, Holy this gallery ad is perfect. All the details it's got it all too. Listed out. It's Body got work, wheels, marks. tires, brakes, suspension, performance. So it's a pandem Brother. kit. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on here, man. This thing is so yeah, we'll, good. We'll show all the details yeah. because there's too many to yep. read. Let's start Ooh. digging into this. Oh my God. Oh, baby. RB26. Oh, dude, the wheels look, look the insane. <laughs> the lip. <laughs> You put a hundred dollar bill on that lip and it looked tiny. Yeah. Holy sh. You know what we should do? What are we doing? We should do like I'm the, the Korean should. dollar test on this one. I, it's, I haven't seen it in a while. I think this might be shorter than actually in America. That thing's, so it may not that work. Thing's seen better days. Well, just saving it. Okay. From when I buy a Korean car. Okay. But those wheels Hyundai coming up are soon. sick. This car is phenomenal. I think. This might be the all-time perfect example of an R32 in my eyes. Damn, even wide-bodied? Everything. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> what I do you think? You. I, no, you're quiet. I, you flex on me your Korean money. I can't really say much. Yeah, that's I? true. All right, let's give it a rate. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, eleven. I always got him I know, bro. I, damn it. It's insane. <laughs> that thing is nuts. It is. All the details, no expense spared, no cutting corners, plasma cutting corners. This is insane. Uh, I love it. That gets an 11. I don't even know if I've ever rated an 11. I probably have, but that's nuts. If you want your car reviewed, please add it to our gallery at filmindustries.com forward slash add. And then if you need any wheels, tire suspension, or wheel tire packages, because we'll mount and balance them and ship them for free so you don't got to haul them all over to some 
Jack and Jones Tire Mountain <laughs> Shop. I don't know if that's a real thing, but sorry, Jack and Jones. It's Joe. a pain. <laughs> it's a pain to do that. So thank you guys for watching. Hey, this is one of my favorite series hey, to do. We still got another car yet, brother. <laughs> don't you go anywhere yet. I think it was the whole you jinxed me thing. And I know. I <laughs> just really threw I up. I think we just end the whole episode because <laughs> the TTR was so good. <laughs> no, we can't because we got to take a look at this 2006 Mazda Speed 6 on some NKTS 10s, all right? Hey. We're looking at some 18 by 9.5 plus 35 Toyo Proxy Sports. This is a Bugatti? Yeah, 235, 40 on some race lane coilovers. Uh, Caden Stowers. All right. 2006 Mazda Speed. Mazda Mazda Speed 6. I had to check back yeah, in that. here. I was already checked out. <laughs> I know, you were, you were like, damn. Jim I wonder if there's any tacos left from lunch. All right, slight rub at full it? turn. Oh, yeah. Rear fenders are rolled. Front, <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> front inner fender lip is cut out. Uh, Cobb Access Sport, or sorry, Cobb Access Port Tune, 19 PSI through a stratified uh, solid hey, motor hey, mounts. Cobb intake from on intercooler. EGR delete and straight pipe. Look at these headlights. Like you said, it's Bugatti. Is that Bugatti? Bugatti in the front, Mazda in the right, back. Right. So All this right. is a very loud and proud 2006 Mazda Speed. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how, there's some photos without the spike lugs and I think I prefer how that looks. I think yeah. it looks a little bit cleaner. I didn't cleaner. even notice the spike lugs, honestly. You gotta see it in the beginning photos. He has like some before and after okay. photos, I feel like. Oh those, God! Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Those I'm not, not a fan, not a fan of those. That's a little too extra for me. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about the headlights either. I think that's, it's too much. I like them. I, I like them, however, I think that the taillights need to soon follow because like I said, you look you at that and then you get to the rear taillights and it's like, holy, there's the Mazda. You gonna put a bunch of cubes back there? Yeah. I don't know, bro. I think the diffuser looks good. I like the stance of the car, um, especially for it riding on coilovers. Not too shabby. Um, I think it's pretty cool for a Speed 6. Mm -hmm. However, there's just a couple mods, in my opinion, that I would dial back. Sure. I, I, I like it because he backs it up with a bit of the performance stuff. So he's got the front mount intercooler, he's got it tuned, he's got the bolt-ons. I think they're cool. I think Mazda Speed 6s are cool in general. Yeah, I think the TS10 was a good choice yeah, for this car I think as so well. Too. The wheels fit really nicely. They go along with the car. Just not feeling the Bugatti headlights. All right. Each round? Yeah. All right, ready to rate each, it? Each round. Each round. Let's rate it. Three, two, one. Seven and a half. Six and a half. Did you say sex and a half? I have been checked out. <laughs> so you're going to so do the sorry. outro. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Dakota gave all the plugs already. Don't forget, if you want your car reviewed in an upcoming episode, make sure to add it to gallerfitmanindustries.com forward slash add. Check out all the stuff we got going on over there. It's a good time. We'll see you later. That GTR. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Should have took you on a date yeah, first. Bye. <laughs>